All right, so off camera, <clears throat> with gloves, being safe, uh, with a sharp knife, I've sliced through this stock from uh, bottom to top, actually. So let's see what we have here. And so then how would you stage a corn plant that's lost all of its lower leaves? Okay, let's make it a little closer. Usually, your first four nodes are compressed and fairly tight, not much inner node space between each. And then at the very top here, before you get into a gap of about a half inch to maybe three quarters of an inch, this is usually V5 or your fifth node, okay? And then we go to six, and then we go to seven, and eight, and nine, and so forth, okay? So when you have a bigger plant, and I would say usually by V8, you're almost starting to lose at least the first leaf, maybe even the second leaf. Uh, but this is how you're going to do that. So at this stage, um, you know, these lower internodes are about as far apart as they're going to get. And then as we go up the plant, what you'll find is that several of these, okay, if you can see them here, are very close together. And, and, and obviously... I mean, this is a V10, V11 plant, just uh, maybe mid-thigh on me. So we obviously will have a corn plant that likely will be well over seven feet tall, I think, if we continue on. And so there's a lot of inner node to be developed yet on this particular plant. But again, that's how we do that. So our first four are tight here, first four, and we'll stop at five. And then we'll go to six, and then seven, eight, and nine, and so forth. Okay, so that's how we're going to stage these corn plants when they get bigger and we've kind of lost lost those lower leaves. And uh, But this is how we do it. Okay, a lot of resources online that can help you with that. Fairly straightforward. Hope you enjoyed. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.